Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the profound messages and timeless stories of the Bible. Today, we're exploring the book of Jeremiah, a text that not only recounts the prophecies of doom and hope but also offers us a glimpse into the heart of a prophet deeply connected to his people and to God. Have you ever wondered how ancient words can still resonate in our lives today? Stay tuned as we uncover the enduring wisdom of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah stands as the Bible's most extensive text, both in word count and verses, presenting a labyrinth of complexity that has led to considerable scholarly debate regarding its composition. This prophetic text chronicles the mission of the prophet Jeremiah, addressing the Israelites during the period leading up to and following Jerusalem's conquest by the Babylonians in 587 BCE. Jeremiah's orations deliver stern rebukes and foretell doom for a nation steeped in idolatry. Initially, his prophecies are issued with the hope of inspiring repentance, but as the people persist in their transgressions, Jeremiah forewarns of unavoidable doom. Despite the grim outlook, Jeremiah's message is not devoid of hope, though he acknowledges that any positive future lies beyond Jerusalem's downfall. More than merely documenting prophetic declarations, the book serves as a divine message to a community already scarred by the traumatic events of Jerusalem's fall. The book of Jeremiah distinguishes itself by weaving together the prophet's messages and his personal narrative, offering a profound connection between divine revelations and the real-world contexts they address. This integration invites readers to contemplate the divine word amidst tangible life experiences. The book's exploration of humanity and the divine, particularly focusing on divine judgment, poses a challenge to narrow interpretations of God's nature and actions in the world. The poignant laments and tears shared by both the prophet and God testify to the depth of their bond with humanity, countering the notion of a remote and unfeeling deity. Moreover, Jeremiah's pioneering use of New Covenant terminology has made a lasting impact on the broader biblical canon, promising a transformative relationship with the divine. Why is Jeremiah so important? Jeremiah's significance lies in the intimate portrait it offers of a devoted servant of God. The book is replete with personal reflections that reveal Jeremiah as more than a messenger. He is depicted as a compassionate individual who empathized deeply with his people, sought justice against wrongdoers, and was mindful of his own well-being. Crucially, Jeremiah provides the most vivid depiction of the new covenant that God planned to establish with humanity through the coming of Christ. This covenant represented a path to renewal for God's people, with God's laws inscribed not on stone but within their very beings, on hearts of flesh. This covenant shifted the locus of divine relationship from a physical temple to a direct, personal knowledge of God, a relationship made possible through Jesus Christ, as foretold in Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34 and echoed in Hebrews 8 verse 6. What's the big idea? The central message of Jeremiah's prophecies, delivered during Judah's final years before the Babylonian exile, is predominantly one of impending judgment. This theme dominates the first 45 chapters, underscoring the consequences Judah faces due to its persistent unbelief and rebellion. Yet, within this narrative of doom, threads of mercy are interwoven. The eventual downfall of Jerusalem occurs almost a millennium after the initial pact between God and the Israelites at Sinai, referenced in Exodus 24 verses 1 to 18, attesting to God's enduring forbearance and compassion. This prolonged duration serves as a testament to the divine opportunity afforded to his people to abandon their wayward path, a deviation that commenced shortly after the inception of their covenant with God, as depicted in Exodus 32 verses 1 to 35. Who wrote the book? The son of a priest from the small town of Anathoth in Judah, the prophet Jeremiah dictated prophecies from the Lord to his secretary, Baruch. Because of Jeremiah's lineage, he would have been raised a priest, though no record of his priestly service exists. Instead, God chose this man of undeniable courage to speak to the people of Judah on the Lord's behalf, even though they would not listen. Jeremiah was nearly 20 years old when he began to prophesy, and he continued in that office for the rest of his adult life, some 40 years or more. Because his message held little weight with the people, Jeremiah's prophecies reveal a substantial amount of emotional depth, often sorrow over the plight of God's people or his own troubles, Jeremiah 12 verses 1 to 4, 15 10. When was it written? Jeremiah came into being over the course of half a century or so. It was probably completed sometime during the Babylonian exile. 587 to 538 BCE, though some consider the editing of the book to have continued even later. Where do I find it? Jeremiah is the 24th book of the Bible, the second of the major prophets, sandwiched between Isaiah and Ezekiel. As we come to the end of our journey through the book of Jeremiah, we're left to ponder, what does it mean to have a covenant written not on stone, but on our hearts? How can we find hope amidst the warnings of judgment? Jeremiah's life and prophecies challenge us to reflect on our own paths and the possibility of a new beginning. So, what are your thoughts on this new covenant? 
Share your reflections in the comments below and join the conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more insights into the divine narrative woven throughout our history.